President Obama is expected to sign an order to raise federal contract workers' minimum wage to $10.10 .10 an hour. So what could a higher minimum wage mean for Walmart, which is the largest hire of minimum wage employees in America? Let's start talking numbers. Gina Sanchez join us, joining us on the fundamental side. Rich Ross on the charts. Gina, ladies first here. If minimum wage is raised nationally, what would that mean for big box retailers like Walmart? Well, obviously, it's going to increase their costs, but in the case of Walmart, I don't think that the costs are going to increase such that um, it's, it, that all by itself is going to be a real critical factor for Walmart. That said, Walmart has been facing rising uh, operating expenses relative to their sales, and a lot of that has to do with a lot of the fiscal cutbacks that happened this past year. I think going forward, you know, we're looking at a continued uh, in, uh, improvement in the economy, and that should actually be uh, beneficial uh, to consumers. And remember that Walmart has a cost cutting and volume advantage over retailers out there. And so I think in the improving economy, I think Walmart should actually uh, start to improve. Now, Rich, let's talk about the charts. What do they tell you when you look at Walmart? Well, you know, Seema, the last 12 months have been rather disappointing for Walmart on both a relative and an absolute basis. When you look at that one-year chart, you see the stock's been constrained within this well-defined trading range, bounded roughly by 72 on the low end and 80 on the high end. Now, late last year, we did have a breakout from that trading range, but that breakout proved false, and as is often the case, a false breakout leads to a fast move down. Now, that 11 percent correction has a silver lining here, and when we zoom out and look at that longer-term chart, you can see exactly what I mean. We've pulled back to a very key area of support, SEMA, at that 100-week moving average. That's a level that's held since 2011. So for me, with the stock at the low end of a well-defined trading range, having an 11 percent pullback to a key longer-term support level. I think you actually want to be a buyer of Walmart down here. Keep your expectations in check, given the sideways nature of the chart, but better buyer at the low end of the range and a better seller up at the high end, around $80 if we get that opportunity. All right, that's the view on Walmart. That'll do it for us on Talking Numbers. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at CNBC Numbers. Like us on Facebook. For Talking Numbers, I'm Seema Lodi.